Before we continue, allow me to declare this video is not financial advice, it's strictly for educational purposes. We've got multiple things to go through in this video. We will go through the blog updates, the ecosystem update of Balancer, some of the recent news that are hitting the headlines. We'll also do a price analysis and price prediction. The coin is doing exceptionally well right now. In fact, in the last day, it's jumped over 11% in price. So that's really impressive. It's also been growing in the last month, to be honest. It was as low as $4.20 in the last month. And as you can see on screen, it's grown exceptionally well. So my question is, can it continue to grow to $10, $15, and perhaps even $20 in the near future? The last time this token was above $20, this was actually in April, April the 8th this year. But since then, as you can see, the price has been falling just like every other crypto. But it's found a bottom. It's found a new bottom just below $4. And that's significant. That's important. Now that we know that the token is under value, we can make a proper assessment of where it could be in the near future. Now, you might be asking yourself, what exactly is Balancer? Well, in summary, Balancer is an automated market maker, an AMM that allows users to create liquidity pools with up to eight different tokens in any ratio. Balancer pools can be thought as, as automatically rebalancing portfolios, wherein anyone can create or join a decentralized index fund and go to liquidity providers instead of intermediary fund managers. The Balancer protocol is governed by Balancer BAL token, which can be earned via liquidity mining by depositing crypto into Balancer's liquidity pools. That, in brief, is Balancer. We've also got some other information on AMM, on an automated index, how Balancer work, liquidity provider. We've got some more key information that could help us in our updated video. Now, it's been a while since I've made a video on Balancer. This is a much needed updated video. How Balancer saves users ETH. This is really important. They published this on the 9th of August. This is some of the most recent updates. So through strategic integration and side change expansion, Balancer's tech help mitigate ETH transaction fees. Though declining, Ethereum transaction fees will add up to eye-popping amount over time. Throughout the most of 2021, the average cost of a transaction range was from $20 to $40 peaked at a whopping $196 on May the 1st, 2022. That's this year, by the way. Amid NFT hype, you cannot have spent $100 plus for a simple DEX swap today, but its possibly exorbitant Layer 1 fees could make a comeback. Solvent Network's throughput bottlenecks is a significant priority for Ethereum developers. And solutions such as Layer 1 sidechains and eventually sharding aims to ease user frustrations. But these are still work in progress for a network. Balancer aims to mitigate the transaction fee issues for users now. Now, Balancer launched on Polygon. So what does that mean? Lower trading fees, over 10 million in token incentives, diverse pool experimentation. So Polygon is a network and smart contract platform that utilizes a fast and scalable proof of stake network. It implements a sidechain strategy that allows its throughput to scale up to millions of TX per second. During periods of high demand, the network also borrows Ethereum robust security, employing its staking contracts on the Ethereum network and running validations nodes. Additionally, Balancer protocol was live on Arbitrum. And that was last year in August, at the, uh, roughly at the end of August, actually. Arbitrium is another layer two solution to ETH network. Now, all data is stored on the main ETH blockchain. Now, Arbitrium is quite unique, allowing it to scale up to 40,000 transactions per second compared to Ethereum 4 transactions per second. Now, networks like Polygon and Arbitrium, they are what allows the ease of use for Ethereum, they're what help a lot of users to access the features of Ethereum without the insanity in transaction fees. Now, that is one of the many unique things about Abritrium. Now, AV DAO governance execute 1 million token swap with Balancer. Now, this news was from last month in July, but it's less than one month old, so it's time to talk about it. AV DAO, the government's arm of AV decentralized financial protocol, has swapped 1.6 million worth of its AV token with 1.13 million in balance of BAL token in an exchange for each project's treasury coin. The swap will follow an on-chain vote on the AV DAO 
governance community based on a proposal initiated by Llama Pay developer Matthew Graham in March. The proposal was subsequently amended, called for AV to swap 16, 16,908 AV coins, that's worth 1.63 million, for 200,000 BAL tokens worth 1.13 million. At the time, at the time, keep that in mind. Now the vote has already taken place, the vote was ended on July the 19th, with nearly 400,000 in favor of the proposal. So reason for the swap was the detail and reason for treasury swap. So the reason for the swap, the proposal that stated the token exchange will enable AV to obtain BAL tokens, provide liquidity for its 80 to 20 BAL ETH pool on Balancer. AV will lock its liquidity position and receive vested BAL. The vesting period will be for one year. So that is some of the latest news. But where's the future for Balancer? Now, to be honest, right now, market cap is 304 million. It's still relatively low to the big cryptos out there. Which is good because this is also telling us that it's extremely undervalued. Consider the evidence. 42.7 million token in circulating supply. 96.15 million in max supply. This token has a low supply. Even if the entire supply was in circulating supply and less than 100 million tokens, that is still considered by me to be a low supply of tokens. Now at its all time high, AV has been as high as $71.75. Now understand that was last year in May. And that's just before the crypto market crashed last year in May, quite similarly to what happened this year. But previous to that, in 2020 November, the coin price was $8.50. So in roughly around six months, the coin actually went from $8.50 to as high as $71.75. That's absolutely incredible. It did this on its own merit, its own merits. So there's nothing really stopping it from doing this once again. That's the first thing I want to explain to you. The next thing is that obviously the market is going back up little by little. Look at the market within the last three months. We found a bottom for AV, just around $3.75, but now it's slightly trickling back up. And in the last 24 hours, it's been as high as $7.72. That's almost twice the price it was. Let's say, what was that in, in July, I believe. It's nearly twice the price it was in June. So keep that in mind. That means the market cap have almost doubled, the price has almost doubled. And look at the trading volumes, they're up more than 553%. But I'm telling you, $20 is definitely on the question. And it all depends on when we're hit with the next bull run. We're starting to see the crypto market recover, but only micro recover. It's a micro recovery. It's by small margins, but this is still a great thing. So because of this, we've got good things to look forward to in the crypto community. This could be within the next three months, within the next six months, or within the next year. But the next bull run is upon us, and we're starting to see this recovery right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. But long term, even in the long term, in the next year, does Balancer have a chance of hitting $100? Of course it does. It gotten as close to, to $100 before. It got as high as $71. It definitely can hit $100 in the future. It's just a matter of time, but it does have the potential. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. And of course, I'll see you in our next video.